Hello, Year 8, and you can see my screen there. Okay, so what you guys are going to be doing while I'm on a course is you're going to be beginning your assessment. Okay, and the assessment is, why is it so hot in Bahrain? Um, so I'll go through this really quickly because um, we need to crack on. So this is the tasks. You're going to be finding out what factors affect climate, why they affect climate, and then link to explain Bahrain's climate. Okay, so what, why, linked by rain. So each one, air pressure, what is it? Why does it affect rain and temperature? And linked to by rains, rainfall and temperature. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, go down to the instruction slides here. So this is your main task here. So task one, describe and explain the facts that influence climate. You can set this up as you like, but I have also included this A3 template for each factor with a picture. Okay, so you can use this A3 template if you want to. You can do it in, a, in your notes on paper, or you can do it in your own Google Doc or Google Slides. Okay, but if you don't know what to do, use this template. Okay, uh, you need to make notes on the five factors. The five factors are the same as those key terms there. So you click on this resource because you'll need to use this resource. So click on that, go to this slideshow, and discover how these factors influence climate. So um, I'm going to go through these uh, very quickly. Okay, um, right, first one is latitude. So firstly, what is latitude? Latitude is simply your distance from the equator in degrees. Imagine if I put a protractor here and we've got 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, so that's a right angle triangle if you go along there. So the North Pole is 90 degrees north, the South Pole is 90 degrees south. Okay, so your latitude is literally just how far away from the equator you are on the planet. And um, generally, as the, explained here, the lower the number, the closer to the equator, generally warmer. The higher the number, generally colder. Okay, and so if we go to this slide here, we can see it all visualized around the equator between Tropical Cancer and Capricorn. It's the warmest part of the world, and then it gets colder towards the Arctic Circle, towards the North Pole. Okay, and as we went through these different biomes before, we can see how the biomes change as you go into different areas of uh, different temperatures and rainfall. Okay, so the further you are from the equator, the colder it is, getting towards the ice biome at the top and the rainforest biome at the uh, in the middle. Okay, as you go north, it gets colder. As you go south, it gets colder. Uh, there you go. So, going on from that, hotter, colder at the poles. So, why does this happen? Okay, and we've got two reasons. Okay, two reasons. We have um, the equator receives the most amount of sunlight. And if you were to measure it using a sunshine recorder, you would see that it, or read, that at the equator, each square meter of the ground, imagine a meter on the ground, Four square, um, four meter rulers together in a square shape. You've got one square meter. Each square meter receives, on average, 320 watts of solar energy. Okay, that's at the equator. Now, as we go to the North Pole, the North Pole only receives 60 watts of solar energy per square meter. So it's receiving a fraction of the energy that the equator is receiving. So therefore, the equator is going to heat up much more than the North Pole. In fact, it's just going to keep on heating up unless the energy is moved around. So that's one reason, okay? So the, the solar energy is more intense at the equator. The second reason, uh, I just point, point out here that UK receives about 140 watts per square meter. UK is about here, okay? So you can see it's less than at the equator, but it's more than at the North Pole. So it's warmer than North Pole and colder than the equator. Also, though, solar rays travel further through the atmosphere. So we're not, it's not further away from the sun, but because of the distance from here to here is longer than distance from here to here, there are less, there's less water vapor to block, um, to trap sunlight. There's less particles, less dust. And so therefore, it's more sunlight will reach the Earth's surface because it's got a shorter distance through the atmosphere, whereas the atmosphere will scatter a lot of that energy before it reaches the Earth's surface. So there's two reasons. One, there's more, the sunlight is more intense because it's hitting a small area, and two, because it's got a longer distance to travel through the atmosphere. That's why that's involved there. That's that one. Okay.
Um, so this links to Bahrain. So Bahrain is close to tropical cancer and is located in the part of the world that receives more intense sunlight than places further north. More intense sunlight leads to higher temperatures. Okay, I'm only going to go through that one. I'm going to hand it over to you to make your notes now. Okay, now we will be going through this again and working towards your assessment in the next week and in the week after half term. So you are trying to explain these factors in your own notes. So good luck.